The formal handing over ceremony of the fisheries facility in Soufre marked a significant moment as the government of St. Lucia and the Soufre Fishermen's Cooperative Society Limited signed a memorandum of understanding to provide a sustainable framework for the effective management of the Soufre facility. Under this agreement, the gifted facility will be entrusted to the cooperative and the residents of the community who will be responsible for its management and maintenance. Outfitted with a conference room and office, reception area, shop, assembly area, wharf, locker rooms, washrooms, ice machine, and a workshop, the Sufra Fish Landing Facility will serve to promote food security by enhancing the aesthetics and livelihood systems of the community. Chief Representative of the Japan International Cooperation Agency, Ishiro Mimura, stressed the significance of the handing over, noting the importance of adopting sustainable management practices to maximize profits and improve the quality of life for the fishing community. JICA has been promoting the involvement of communities and uh, fishers' organizations, such as cooperative, in the management of coastal and marine resources. We think that a bottom-up approach that includes all stakeholders, not just government, is the most effective and sustainable way of all to the benefit from the fishery sector while conserving these precious resources. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, conveyed thanks and gratitude on behalf of the government of St. Lucia for the significant gesture. The Sufre Fisheries Facility was provided to St. Lucia by the government and people of Japan as part of a grant aid project for the improvement of coastal fisheries development in 2003. Of course, the government and people of Japan have been providing extensive and invaluable support for the development of the fishery sector here in St. Lucia. I am also aware that a number of other sectors are being supported, including infrastructure, health, education, among others. Therefore, at this juncture, I wish to express sincere thanks to the government and people of Japan for their immeasurable support towards the social and economic development of our beautiful country and look forward to a stronger cordial relation in the future. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development continues to implement its mandate to enhance the agricultural and fishery sector through environmental management and sustainable food security practices. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.